Good evening, my non-existent viewers. As you guys can tell, I am I mostly have all my things packed up because I am moving tomorrow. I'm filming this on Thursday, July 21st. And yeah, my lease ends here pretty soon in the house I've been staying at here in Fort Collins for the past uh, nearly two years. And uh, I'm going to Denver for a few weeks. You know, just like my family's come up tomorrow to like, help me move out of the house. And then I'm going to be staying at my uncle's house for a few weeks before I move again to Colorado Springs for an internship that I landed down there. Finally, starting to move on to bigger, better things. I quit my job at Dogtopia. That was a dog daycare I was working at uh, since May of 2021. They were super cool with working around my, my schedule and classes and stuff going on. It's such a beautiful night. One last night here in Fort Collins, I figured I could just like go outside and show you guys around my area a little bit, uh, you know, before I say goodbye. I gotta take down his calendar too. Dang. All right, yeah. I was thinking about making this video when I was like voiceover videos I like to do here and there where like I just, you know, kind of talk about life or movies or whatever and just throw some like Minecraft gameplay over it or Far Cry or COD or whatever game I've been playing lately. But yeah, it's my, but the weather's just way too nice for me to stay inside tonight and it's, you know, like I said, I'm moving tomorrow and I really just wanted to talk to you guys about some things. I've been giving my YouTube channel kind of a backseat within the past few weeks because, you know, I am uh, moving tomorrow, so I've been doing lots of packing and, you know, getting ready to move and stuff like that and finding new guys to re replace me and my other roommate who's moving out and, uh, and things. It's just kind of had me less motivated to make videos because, like, you know, I have the rest of my life to make YouTube videos. I also have the rest of my life to stay in, play video games or watch YouTube or whatever. But I only have like, I only had like very little time left to enjoy, you know, Fort Collins. And it's been a whole cocktail of feelings lately. You know, like excited, nervous, happy, sad, stressed, relieved, apathetic, empty, you know, all at once. Just a huge like menagerie of feelings. Like yesterday, especially, my last day at Dogtopia, and also my last time hanging out with uh, Outpost guys, uh, you know, the church I've been going to for the past. Uh, almost five years here in uh, Fort Collins. They're a campus ministry with CSU. They actually have a lot of chapters around the country. There's one of them's at CSU. And I met my best friends, my first relationship, and my roommates through that church. So they have small groups uh, during Wednesdays, on, on Wednesdays during the summer. So yeah, hung out with those guys because I, I needed shoulders to cry on. It's been, ah, geez. And like I said, this this fall, like the internship I'm going to have this fall, it's not paid. And you know, my editing software for making videos at Adobe Premiere, I'm gonna warn you guys now if you decide to use Adobe Premiere as like your main editing software for making videos, it's not cheap. Like it's almost $23 a month. And like, so like, and my internship this fall is not paid. And I'm already gonna ration my savings, you know, for food, bills, and gas. Like, I'm gonna be, like, my mom's letting me borrow her Subaru while I'm going down to the springs, so like, and yeah, with gas prices nowadays, ugh, thanks Biden. Yeah, you gotta like, spend, you know, my money as wisely as humanly possible. So, again, this is not a guarantee. I am not holding my breath on this, but if, keyword, if I have to take a hiatus from making YouTube videos this fall, I will. Not because I want to, but because I should. And, I've said this many a times in previous videos and I'll say it again here. YouTube is not a job, YouTube is a hobby. I don't, I don't, I don't get enough views on my videos to get monetized, I don't get, paid, I don't get paid to make videos, I don't get ad revenue from my videos. I would like to make some money off of YouTube one day as like a side hustle, right? But again, Lord knows that's ever gonna happen. Like again, YouTube is a hobby, it's a, one of my favorite hobbies. I, like, I, this October marks like, nine years since my the upload of my very first YouTube video, Scary Insect. So I believe me, YouTube is not something that I want to give up. It's just, if I have to temporarily give it up this fall, I will. For all we know, that might not happen, so we'll, we'll see how well this video ages. I've really considered looking into getting like a part-time job this fall to help me, you know, juggle things with, you know, my, my bills and food and savings. You know, I've got a place to stay down there. I'm just a little afraid of like, having enough cash to, you know, pay for other expenses. So I, I have some retail experience, like 
if you've been subscribed to my channel since 2019, you probably noticed I did drop out of CSU temporarily fall of 2019 before COVID. Before I came back to CSU January of 2020, I worked at PetSmart for eight weeks. So I have some retail experience under my belt. So I've really considered looking into like whatever like bars or restaurants or stores like that are closest to like where I'm staying that I could possibly get a part-time job at. Like I think retail and service, those are like the two industries I think everyone should try like at least like one one of those two. Everyone should try either of them, if not both, at least once in their lives. You know, because you just see like a whole different side of humanity when you work at those places. Like before I was a cashier at PetSmart, like I I would ask myself like what would uh like what you know the cus like i would like i look at cashiers or waiters or waitresses and be like what's their life outside of work you see these people every day smiling saying hello and you know giving you their and you know you know they're giving you your service and you're giving them business but it's like what do they have going on outside of work you know like do they have family friends like do they go to school what are their hopes their goals or dreams you know stuff like that then when i was that cashier myself I started asking myself the same thing about the customers that we had coming going from the stores. And heck, even when I was working at Dogtopia, there would be like, obviously I met a lot of pet parents dropping off their dogs at our place. And I was like, you know, what's their life like outside of, you know, because dog personalities tend to reflect those of their owners. That's one thing I've learned over the years, especially working at dog daycare. So it's just like, hmm, well, that dog's misbehaving. So what does that say about the owner? <laughs> So yeah, just some like hopes and expectations for the fall. It's like, obviously I'm really psyched for the internship. I'm very excited. You know, Colorado Springs is gonna be like, it's gonna be a totally fresh start down there. You know, like new people, new places to explore. Obviously I'm definitely gonna miss my friends here and you know, people I've met and the places I've been to and you know, the dogs I met at Dogtopia. Yeah, it, again, like I said, it's been a pretty emotional week saying goodbyes, but like at the same time, there's totally like, it, it, there's gonna be a totally fresh new set of all those things coming my way this fall because like career wise for like as you guys probably know so I graduated from CSU back in December and the things I want to do you know my English major my zoology minor like zookeeping aquariums animals and also like fiction writing fantasy and sci-fi writing like there's just none of that here in Fort Collins like not much of it at least so career wise there's nothing for me at this place so yeah again this not including my semester off, of course. Four Collins has been my home for the past nearly five years, and ultimately, part of loving something is knowing when it's time for letting it go. And yeah, it's just another new chapter chapter coming away. Again, it's been a whole mix of feelings lately. I am nervous because I will freely admit this: like throughout high school and like you know, and like the first, especially the first half of my college career, I had a really bad things, a bad habit of like having something really great and just like effing it up in one night. And part of me is really afraid of, I'm, I'm afraid of failure. I'm afraid of making bad mistakes. I'm afraid of like, what if I stop acting like an adult and things don't go well because it's my fault. I just really hope that like, that doesn't happen again. I don't believe in second chances. I believe in multiple chances because I've given a lot of chances. But yeah, it's like, I feel like I'm finally moving into the adult world. It's like, the past seven months since I graduated from CSU, it hasn't really felt like seven months. I honestly can't tell if, you know, like, me, my graduation ceremony with, uh, you know, from CSU what, until now, like, you know, as I can't tell if it's gone by really slow or really fast. Like, I remember the start of the year, January through March, like all throughout March, my my life was basically work at Dogtopia 30 to 50 hours a week and like look at internships and job opportunities for after I move because like I knew I wasn't gonna be I I, st I knew I wasn't gonna be staying here, you know, in Fort Collins at my current place. And then when I got the internship, I got my internship back at the start of April. It's like my life since then has been like okay, well my inter my internships in Colorado Springs, and I gotta like find you know a place to stay down there uh, you know and like you know obviously find new roommates to replace me and you know just like figure out what my where my life is going from here so this is the amc theater that i live like a 10 minute walk away from this theater and the uh the cinemark at the foothills mall again if you live in four Collins, you know the theater i'm talking about these have been my two main theaters i've seen the vast majority of movies that i've reviewed 
within the past, like, you know, almost five years. Again, this theater and uh, Chippers, the bowling alley, is right over there. Uh, these have been, like, my two main spots to go to when I just feel like getting out of the house, you know, in this neighborhood. Like, there's a lot of, like, stores and restaurants and, like, places to go to. Like, I, I'm very blessed. I'm going to miss, like, how centralized Fort Collins is. You know, like, everything's kind of within walking distance or just, like, a, a quick bike ride or a bus ride. Yeah, it's one of the main things I'm going to miss about this town. But, yeah, I've... I did, like, see... Again, I haven't, I haven't slacking on movies lately, but I did see Thor Love and Thunder. I tried seeing it, at least, but then, like, they're remodeling it now. Their whole theater kind of just, like, lost power because of the remodeling, so I got a free movie pass that's good at any, any AMC in the country until December. So, yeah, I'll probably use it, like, when I'm down in Denver because my uncle lives, like, a closest driveway from the AMC theater. We'll see. And yeah, Chippers is great because there's, you know, it's a bowling alley. They got volleyball. They got, they just did axe throw. They just started doing axe throwing too. They got arcade games. They got a, uh, the laser tag and good uh, drink deals during the week. I'm gonna miss these places. I really will. And again, it's, it's hard saying goodbye, but ultimately, like, it's just a new chapter, and it's, you know, change is good. So yeah, here's to new beginnings. Thank you so much for watching this video, and again, to all my friends I've made here in Fort Collins, like, to my roommates, to my former co-workers at Dogtopia, and all the friendly strangers I've been, become acquainted to over the years, thanks for everything. And yeah, thank you for watching this video, have a nice night, stay beastly.